vlog of the year. It's a new year and uh, new ideas and all that and my plan is to do regular vlogs of what I'm up to so that you get a, more of an insight into what I do and, and the kind of things that I get up to on a daily basis. And 2013 has had a pretty exciting start with the arrival of these two gorgeous stripy girls. They belong to uh, Donkey Rescue UK who took them on when they were needing a home and they um, she struggled a little because they are so flighty so they've come to me for some clicker training now they are obviously very happy they're now nice and calm to be in here they're used to being around humans and things um, but they're very flighty in terms of when you try and they're completely untouchable so any movement towards them does cause them to, to panic and move back so I would like to get them happier and calmer around humans they do have head collars on. Now before I got them, they were lassoed to get the head collars on, so we now can't get them off again. <laughs> um, you'll see when I'm working with them that uh, any movement towards them, they do move away from. So I would like to get them much happier and calmer around people. Um, and their feet are very long as well, because they, they do need a trim. So that would be something else that would be nice. So I'll um, set it up and show some of the target training that we've, we've been doing. So the aim at the moment is to get them just generally happier and calmer around people and understanding how clicker training works. Now I began just by putting food into the buckets and then putting the click in to say the food was coming and then I've added the target in and just shaped that up. And you can see that Z very clearly knows that it's touching the target. So this is the first time that Z will have touched it on the side away from me. It's always been over towards me. Yes, good girl. Yay, good girl, well done. Well done, so that's a big step forwards today. Okay, so the reason that I'm doing targeting is obviously to teach them about the clicker and um, so that they understand that it's their action that causes me to click and shoot. And that's such an important part of it because until they understand that, you can't move on and teach them, teach them anything else. I'll start to build the duration up of them holding their nose on or in the vicinity of the target and I'll use that in, replace of, in place of tying up. So um, obviously tying up's out of the question, but getting them to, to go to a specific place and stand still will be really helpful behaviour, so I'll start to use it for that. Um, and I can also use targeting to start teaching them leading as well. You can see that the orange target there is on a stick inside the cone. Girl. And um, so I can, take, I can take that out and start getting them to follow it and, and move them around. And that was a really great introduction for leading for um, obviously these guys, but also I use it a lot with horses that have any issues or anxiety around leading, whether that's, um, you know, that's worried behaviour or whether it's pushiness. It's great to retrain it in a different way and targeting is fantastic for that. Well done. Well done. So I'll just jackpot and finish her there as well.